the sea, cradle of life, with its fascinating diversity of species, and still a lot of hidden secrets to unveil. The burning desire to study marine life and to prove Darwin's theory of evolution motivated Anton Dorn to establish a marine research station and an aquarium in Naples, a unique place in which scientists could rent a research table. His vision inspired many scientists, and many scientific stations were built under the same model as Thorne's dream birth. A slow walk with science from the past to the future. A future of huge challenges to face, changes to understand and enterprises to undertake. Still looking at the sea with the same wonder, to find new solutions, new developments. Here at the Stazione Zoologica, our research produced a lot of interesting and exciting results. And these results are, of course, important for publications and other scientific works. But there is also another interesting aspect to it, and that is that it has a high societal relevance. Global warming is changing the oceans at an alarming, unprecedented rate, putting at risk the very existence of marine life. Marine sciences are fundamental to understand the risks, assess the damage, and try to mitigate the consequences. For the role played by plankton in the world oceans, it is very important to study plankton communities in their own environment. So going to the sea, taking samples, observe this sample, and do it uh, not only once, but uh, over long term. So that's why in Naples uh, we run a long-term ecological research program uh, since 1984 that is focused on the plankton and it is based on uh, weekly observation of the plankton communities. So studying plankton over the long term uh, allows us uh, to disentangle the seasonal periodicities that are natural from uh, those uh, um, processes that are generated by humans, by the, the uh, human activities. And it's not just the plankton to be in danger. Benthic communities are at risk too, and must be investigated to fully understand the marine environment. Sea grasses are marine plants that have evolved the ability to live completely submerged in the marine environment. These plants grow uh, in the coastal shallow area around the world, from the tropical to the subarctic area. And in this environment, they form one of the most important ecosystems on the planet, which provide a huge of economical, ecological and social benefit. Near our field station at Ischia, the volcanic vents on the seafloor spew forth carbon dioxide. Our scientists study these cold sips as a living model for global ocean acidification. And we uh, carried the experiment in uh, nature, but also in the mesocosm system. One of the facilities of SZN is the mesocon system that is developed to, um, to study the response of marine organisms, also large organisms like as uh, Posidonia, to the uh, change in temperature and light. All this biodiversity here in the Gulf of Naples has also relevance for the blue bio-industry. And how does that work? Well, many organisms produce interesting bioactive substances that can be used for the development of all sorts of industrial products. An added value to visit Stazione Zoologica is to have access to a very diverse uh, marine ecosystem 
and in, at the same time to have access to um, all series of technological services from uh, collection, uh, cultivation, isolation and morphological and molecular characterization. And I think this is very attractive for users. From describing a species to the isolation of bioactive substance and its industrial production is a journey in science. A journey that requires different expertise from different researchers. It's all interconnected, just as all life forms are interconnected in our living world. In Motax we have a, a solid taxonomic expertise on various groups of marine organisms. We provide services for identification and detection of marine organisms. We use both traditional morphological methods and modern technologies as molecular biology, barcoding and of course a lot of electron microscopy. Uh, we also provide uh, services for isolation and cultivation of target organisms, but it is also very important that uh, we provide training. Uh, we offer uh, both individual training, but uh, we are also involved in organization of uh, advanced courses of, on taxonomy of different organisms. There has been a, a, an interest in microalgae uh, in the past two decades at least because it's, a, again they can be used to produce interesting molecules uh, and because we want to understand the way they grow uh, also for the ecological implications of these studies. Um, but despite this interest we were very limited in the type of uh, uh, tools that were available to manipulate uh, uh, diatoms and microalgae in general. Modern scientific tools are fundamental for the advancement of science. In biomedical research, the focus is on well-established model organisms such as mice or rats. But the potential of marine organisms in basic research and biomedicals is huge, and many marine scientists are working to unlock such potential. To understand gene function, we need to genetically modify cells. For this reason, here at the Stazione Zoologica, we uh, uh, de develop tools to transform diatoms. In particular, we were able to transform non-model diatoms, and we also uh, used and improved the CRISPR-Cas9 technology, which is a technology that is uh, used to inactivate a gene in order to understand the function of this gene. The advantage of using our lab uh, is that we are usually focused on uh, organisms that are non-conventional, so they are not model organisms, and we often lack information. But we can uh, work easily with uh, different organisms that we can find in the sea, from bacteria to mollusks to higher organisms like fishes and even mammals. For example, we have a digital PCR that allows us to measure even a very low number of organisms in a complex mixture. And the other important technology that we have here is the automation, because some projects uh, involve a high number of samples that are difficult to handle from a researcher. We can handle them by our robot and uh, process them in a very short time, so um, making easier the complexion of the experiment. The output of massive sequencing is a lot of raw data that in turn needs to be analyzed. This can be done only through specific information tools and expertise such as those found with our Bioinforma. Bioinforma is taking care to support the scientists in making their own analysis when they are dealing with bioinformatics. But uh, uh, with the experience we made in the Institute, we also began to organize computational uh, facilities that are related also to other aspects, mainly uh, data analysis. So we offer this kind of service within NBRC and uh, we have also the pleasure to have students that are working on their own project that sometimes spend some of their time uh, in our lab so that we can really try to support them in their activities. Marine stations in Europe have 
connected themselves together to develop a uh, so-called consortium that is called the European Marine Biological Resource Center. And not only in Europe, but especially also in Italy, we have many partner stations and institutes that uh, are part of this consortium. And these stations now offer external researchers from the uh, academia, but also from the bio industry, to come to their stations and get help in the development of all these uh, products. And so that should then help develop the blue bio industry in Italy further. <laughs>